The Simpsons have been running for ages. And during that time, they've predicted with surgical precision over a hundred world events. That includes the 9-11 attacks, Trump's presidency, the creation of autocorrect, Nobel Prize winners, the building of specific skyscrapers in London, the war in Ukraine, and even the legalization of pot in several states and countries. In my pursuit of the truth, I browsed dozens of forums and found out that there were thousands of people trying to unravel the same mystery. Eerily enough, the comments under some Reddit posts intrigued me more than the posts themselves. Under many of the posts, people were claiming that the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, was a 33rd degree Freemason, which means he would have had access to occult information thanks to the elite circle he is in. For reference, just some of the 33rd degree Freemasons were Harry Truman, Benjamin Franklin, Roosevelt, Churchill, Silvio Berlusconi and Buzz Aldrin. Uh, Simpsons predicted the future shot by shot because we're part of the Illuminati, <laughs> which is true, we are. This isn't some conspiracy. Freemasons are a real thing. Officially, there are currently over 3,000 33rd degree Freemasons in the world. But for Matt Groening to be one of them sounded quite absurd to me. So I decided to look into it, as always. And every single video that I found that was referenced in a research or an article was deleted and the users that posted it were taken care of. The rabbit hole suddenly deepened. And that certainly spiked my interest. Then I found this. They're all covered with filthy germs, aren't they, Smithers? Why, what do you mean, sir? Freemasons run the country! Ugh. And this. <laughs> Let the initiation begin. You have joined the sacred order of the stonecutters, who since ancient times have split the rocks of ignorance that obscure the light of knowledge and truth. And this. The store Homer visits is number 33, the Masonic number. Here's the Masonic symbol in plain sight, the all-seeing eye. The Mason's symbols can be found through a lot of episodes of The Simpsons. There are several Masonic rituals instilled in the cartoon as well. After seeing all of that, I'm starting to feel Reddit theories might actually hold some truth. Although explaining The Simpsons predictions with Matt Groening being a Mason sounds deranged at first, stick with me because we dug deeper and discovered that he indeed was on a plane with Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. There is a solid proof of that in Ghislaine's testimony. In her statement on page 14, you can see that Matt Groening was a friend of Epstein and he actually flew on the Volita Express several times. He was getting massages from Epstein girls. This puts him in the grasp of this very close elite circle. It also isn't a coincidence that this is the longest running animated TV show, with 35 seasons and running since 1989. But there is something brilliant that the Simpsons creator did to bamboozle the masses and make them think the Simpsons predictions are just a myth. We need a cure! <laughs> Why, the only cure is bed rest. Anything I give you would only be a placebo. Where do we get these placebos? Maybe there's some in this truck. In season 10's episode 2, The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer supposedly predicted the mass of the Higgs boson 14 years before the scientists at CERN discovered it. How is this even possible? Well, the truth is, he didn't predict anything. Although the equation presented was plausible, the mass of the Higgs boson is 125 giga electron volts. And what Homer predicted in the episode was over 600 giga electron volts above that, meaning he committed a mistake of over 500%. And since this is the most sophisticated and at the same time notorious Simpsons prophecy, rational people deduced all predictions were similarly uncertain and that the Simpsons didn't predict anything. Unfortunately, they have a point, but it's not the one they think. The Simpsons are not making predictions. Instead, according to Reddit theories, they disclose global events they already know will happen, because global events are carefully planned. Many rational people have come forward with numbers claiming that only 2% of the Simpsons' predictions came true and that with so many episodes, it is only normal for them to get something right. That many predictions? 
they essentially just got lucky. But if there only was another show that is also famous for predicting the future and has run for so many episodes. But there is. Star Trek. Star Trek predicted flip phones, flat screen TVs and many scientific advancements. I was inclined to believe that Simpsons success rate of predicting the future was just a chance until I saw the numbers. What we can do is to compare the number of episodes of Simpsons with another show that has a similar running time and see if the predictions are of an equal percentage between these shows. By looking at Star Trek and The Simpsons, we can see the difference and we have a clear winner here. Aside from predicting simple things like the presidency of Trump, there are mentions of more complex predictions like specific dates, hints on the attack on the towers, governmental scandals and even inventions. This show even predicted what Edward Snowden discovered and leaked five years before he did. I don't know if you guys should be talking so loud. No, Lisa, it's not like the government is listening to everybody's conversation. There's one event they disclosed but have been trying to hide ever since. If we for a moment accept the hypothesis that Matt Groening is indeed a 33rd degree Freemason, this means he's either a super elite or under the firm grasp of such. He takes part in several other secret societies, and both he and his wife have close ties with Ghislaine Maxwell and Epstein. This explains how the Simpsons foreshadowed the Boa outbreaks, as well as the 2020 event that took place. Supposedly, they were tipped off before it all happened. Futurama is another show created by Groening. In 2004, it predicted that the Olympics would be dominated by transgender athletes. There, a man disguised as a woman goes to win five Olympic medals. This deranged prophecy came true in 2018 when Rachel McKinnon won the Masters Track World Championship and Mac Bags won two state wrestling titles. This isn't something you can predict, unless you know it's going to happen because you've heard plans of it. Another good example here is legislation. It turns out many laws have been predicted by groaning shows for years before taking place. For example, in Futurama we've seen suicide legality and this has never been discussed during the time, but now it's a reality in some countries. Meanwhile, pot legalization is something predicted by The Simpsons. There is also an episode where they ship an illness from Asia to the US and it's called the Osaka Fu. This is super strange because it had nothing to do with the rest of the episode, it's just mentioned, it's shoehorned in it. In The Simpsons there are 11 Christmas episodes and four episodes that look into the future. And one of these episodes foreshadowed that in 2041, New York City would be underwater and by the same year, we would already be living in a cashless society. And just a few months ago, years later, studies showed that New York City is sinking very slowly. And I really hope we don't end up in a cashless society for obvious reasons. So in solving this question, we're posed with three possible answers. Either Matt Groening is extremely lucky to foresee all of this, two, he is a time traveler, or three, he is a part of an organization that tells him what to disclose and what not to disclose to the public through the shows. But if the case is number three, why would anyone like to disclose things? Well, to learn about that, go watch the next video, where I expose the secret world behind the scenes.